Hello, uh, Sina Cat here, and welcome to another Let's Play. Uh, let's Play Procrastinating from Doing Skyrim Videos, also known as Minecraft, Your First Day in Survival Mode. We are in Minecraft point, uh, uh, 1.8.1. All right. I am going to be doing your first day in survival mode, as I said. I'm going to open a map and just go from, I guess it's midday, to uh, dawn of the next day. To give you an idea of, for if you some reason have not played much and you're watching this video, to have an idea what you should do. Maybe if I have some sort of insight somehow that you don't know about or haven't thought of. Who knows? Or maybe I'm just an idiot. I do have some mods, I will list them in the description. As I run into them, I will mention them. As you can tell already, I've got Forge, which is the loader to bring mods in. It's at least one of them, it's one I use. Uh, Minecraft comes... Okay, I have Minecraft comes live, I thought that was it for a minute, but MCP isn't it. Anyway, so we are going to go ahead and go into single player. Ignore that, that's an old test. We're going to create a new world. Let's play to survival mode. And then I am going to leave this all stock. Although I will do a seed. This is up to you. If you'd like to play the map I'm going into, it's going to be Let's Play MC, all one word. Lower. I don't know if case matters, but lowercase in this case. And then we should be good. Like I said, I have no idea what's going to be in this map, so we'll see what happens. Here goes. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm an expert, but... I felt like doing a video. This is partly to show a friend, and I figured while I'm here, I might as well. Alright, and we're in. Now, first step, you notice that crystal ball. Uh, that's from Minecraft Comes Alive. Add, it changes villagers to make them more useful and interesting. And add some family elements, but we're not going to worry about that, so that goes away. I have a texture pack, which you may notice. It's... Uh, I'll have to link it. I don't remember the name. In any case, this is actually a fairly good spot it's tossed us into. We have water. We have trees. Uh, we have... We should actually... Go away. We should actually have an okay place to dig in. Because one of the things you need is also a good place you can dig into, preferably like a, to make a cave. Uh, one thing I'm not sure about this is it's a lot of water... And not a lot of ground to try to make a farm. So we are going to actually go hunting a little bit. I mean, this whole area is great. So it's actually maybe too many trees. So we'd have to clear some out to make good room. But that's, you know, the next day maybe. All right. This is substantial. Oh, is this a cave? This is a cave with coal. And, um... These are from the Mineralogy mod, it adds some more metals and such. But a coal right there actually makes this a not a bad place at all. So what I may do is... I might try digging into this, because the coal is right there, coal is brilliant. So we're going to actually go ahead and start. Here's a tree, punch the tree, get the wood. Because this is how trees work. Go ahead and clear out a, tr a tree at least to start with. It shouldn't take you too long, and make sure you uh, leave the bottom piece so you can jump on it. You can get a little bit higher instead of having to try to build a tower to get up to the last piece. And a little more. There we go. So that's six, which is a good start. So my next step is I'm going to dig in a little bit. Um, we'll go ahead and make a tower. I'm uh, not tower. Wow. We'll make a table out here. Uh, you can see I've got a different texture. It's from the gender mod, which I will also link. Got ourselves a table. It's you got. I kind of blew through that, but you take um, 
a wood as in a log, put that in there. It makes planks. I shall do that because I'm going to need them anyway. And you take four, you put them into the crafting table, and uh, you, the crafting grid, I should say, with the correct term. And then you get a table. Uh, these are from another mod, I think the camping mod, which again I'll link. We're not there right now. We're not going to do anything fancy. This is also, again, a mod. It's uh, not a, it, too many items, I think it is that um, I'll link it again. But essentially, in the way it is now, it provides recipes to make things. It doesn't let you get things, like, you know, directly, kind of like in creative mode, although you can have it work for that. In any case, we are going to place our table. I figure the thing I'm worried about is the water, so we'll maybe go over to this side a little bit. And actually, one double check. Um, the fact that there is lava right here is a mixed blessing. This is actually a cave, which is kind of neat. But when you start digging down for your first mine, you do want to keep in mind. I think a mine would, might be over here. We'll see. Um, we might go over that when it gets dark. But for now, toss the table down with uh, the right click. I mean, if you read the directions, the um, instructions for controls, you should be fine there. Now, we have that. Uh, we're going to need to make wooden tools, which are lousy, but they'll work for our start. Go ahead and make an, a pick. Oh, sorry. You do need sticks. So you do two planks like this, or more than two, but it needs to be in the two above each other like this, and you get sticks. And then you take, for a pick, you do two sticks, and then three across. It's like a pick shape. You do that. Oh, here's our sapling. We'll deal with that later. Uh, then two, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a shovel and a pick for now. We should be all right on what otherwise. If I need more, we'll go from there. Hmm, oops, there we go. All right, so a shovel is good for dirt. A pickaxe is good for stone. Try not to reverse those because they're not as good and you're more likely to wear through them more quickly. So our next step is to get to stone. Stone means we can make stone tools, which are way better, and... Wood will actually not do some stone, especially in Mineralogy mod. That is something that I probably should have taken out, but we'll see. Alright, so digging in. This is actually, there we go, now we're, now we're getting to, yeah, now we're at rock. Um, I would try to make sure you get to rock, because it's going to be more sturdy if you run into, say, creepers, because creepers will blow through dirt like nothing. They cannot get through stone. This is actually a little deeper than I would normally go. That's the flower to worry about. That. You can see down in the bottom on the bar, the shovel is almost gone. That's like its health bar, uh, which is why we're going to stone. You want to get at least three stone at this point. So go ahead and just dig out some stone. And actually, I'm going to get a little bit more. This. Now, if you're playing stock, you'll have one kind of stone. But the overcon supplies, I never, I never actually got that. Anyway, again, the same again applies. You need sticks. You put them in, but this time you use stone, and I have shale and sandstone. But they, it doesn't matter in this case. It makes the same tool. And then you replace that. And we'll go ahead and replace the shovel as well. And then while we're at it, because that one piece of wood is still there, we will make more sticks. Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? Make more sticks. Then make ourselves an axe as well. Axe is going to be this shape. This shape. Why is it not this shape? Sandstone apparently doesn't work for this. That is peculiar, but we can fix this. Again, if you're running stock, you'll just have generic stone. You don't even have to worry about different kinds of stone. But the same concepts do apply. So then, you'll do this, you'll do this, there we go, there's an axe. One thing to keep in mind is you want to be settled before the end of the day. You do not want to be out while it's dark, so you can see, if you look at the sun, it's on its way down, we need to keep moving. So, alright, where was I? Okay, we have our pick, we have our shovel, we have our axe. I would go ahead and get the last bit of wood here. You just now got wood, I don't know how that happened, but we have stone tools. I would have stone tools before you get at the end of the day. So now that we have this, I would take our uh, crafting table, and actually in this case I think axes are the best for this, yes. 
Grab our crafting table, bring it inside, because you'll want it for later. Um, I would then actually go ahead and probably build up your doorway with stone. Actually, sandstone is probably going to be light in this case, so I'll go with shale. Um, you just want like a two tall by one wide, because it's easiest to put a door into or block it with dirt or what have you. And uh, seeds we'll get to in a minute. But first off, I am going to make myself a little doorway here, like so. And you'll notice it's dark in here. You don't want darkness. We will get to that in a minute. There, that is fairly secure. I mean, the dirt over here, there's a couple layers I'm not going to worry about for now. So we've got this. Um, we have the wood. We're going to actually make a door, just so we have it for now. So you want to go and get wood. It should be six like this. Gives you doors. Three doors, which is more than you necessarily need, but gives you more for later. And toss that in there. And up to you which side you want to do it on. Whatever side you're on will be closer to the edge of the block, as you can see. So it doesn't necessarily matter. It's up to personal preference, I guess. So our next step is we're going to want torches and a way to cook food. So we're going to go down here and make like a little stairs so it's easier. We're going to ignore this stuff. We don't need to worry about that for now. We want coal. You want to get a fair amount of coal. If you don't have coal immediately nearby, you may not be able to get a first day. Um, I would not go too far afield or dig too deep the first day because you might get caught out and you're basically stuck. Um, if you can find sheep, if you find, uh, if you can get I wouldn't necessarily kill them unless there's a lot of them there, although that will give you food and wool. And you need three wool to make a bed. A bed uh, sets your spawn point in a spot, so that way you don't have to worry about um, if you die going back somewhere weird. I would try to make your first cave near where you spawn, because if you die and you don't have a bed, then you can always spawn nearby and it works out. And if you wander away, you have to walk back and you better know where you are. Uh, doesn't mean you shouldn't walk if you don't have a good spot right where you are. Just keep in mind where you were in comparison. So you see I put coal. I'm actually going to do two. You need the same number of coal for sticks. Make yourself some torches. I would say in the beginning you don't need a lot of torches. Um, so go ahead and I would stick maybe... Why are they not mandatory? I'm there. Okay. No, stop. So I would stick maybe at least one in your hole, because you don't really need much right now, it's small. And it's starting to get dark, so this is actually great timing. Put at least two outside, you don't necessarily need more. And then close your door. Now technically, you're done for your first day, safety-wise, you could sit here, nothing bad will happen to you. I'm going to get Enterprise, and for just a moment, however, I'm going to grab another stone. We're going to go into here and make sticks, and then we are going to make a hoe, like this, and hoes, and this, the seeds will come in handy here as well. I'm going to run outside, it's getting very dark, so I'm just going to make a, uh, you have to have, why are, oh that's not a hoe, that would be why, wow, I'm batting a thousand there. So you make, you right click to uh, use, and you place some seeds. And seeds will eventually grow into wheat, and we're going to go inside now because it's dark. Um, right. Seeds will eventually grow into wheat that you can harvest, and with three wheat you can make a piece of bread. Which is a good starter way to get food. Alright, while we're here, I'm actually going to do one other thing. I have to get stone first. Is, uh, it's good to be able to defend yourself. Even during the day, there are some enemies, although it's less. Definitely don't want to go at night, at least especially not this early without armor and know what you're doing. So that's two stone and a stick gives you a sword. sword. A stone sword, I would not bother with a wooden sword. By the time you need a sword, you should have stone in decent supply. Don't worry about it, just get stone sword, it's better. Now, it's dark and unfortunately we have no way of actually looking out the door, so we'd have to check. However, I would say at this point... A basic um, mine, especially if you don't have coal yet, it's going to be actually kind of tricky because you're in a dark space. 
one thing I would suggest if if you don't have coal and you're gonna need the light uh, try to make a space if you actually have lava on the surface like that try to build near it because it makes light at least it should I think it makes light in stock and when you're starting to dig down like this uh, for one if you notice how I did that I'll go back up it's you know one down one over one down one over one down one over and actually this made a hole probably because I wasn't paying attention and you see how it gets dark here you definitely when it starts to get say this dark I would go ahead and put a torch down part of the reason it's laid up like that is because I have dynamic lights mod which I will again link I would definitely suggest it it's a little resource intensive on your computer but it's well worth it because that way you don't have to worry about constantly putting torches down if you're just going through an area once. You may also notice the music is different. That is Snow Cat's um, music mod. It actually also does sounds. It's a little eccentric at times, but it is actually a very nice mod and it cleans up some sounds very nicely. We are getting a little deep and we're not coming up with anything. I would say for your first mine maybe level out around 50 and then you can go ahead and dig out like this a little bit I would dig out in a different direction than where your stairs have been and then actually that's I think it digs yeah it, you're not gonna run into this if you're stuck that's um, our red stuff I have uh, mineralogy because I'm a geology buff and the idea of generic stone was just pain in the butt this may be iron, which again will look different in stock, but you if you can find iron early, you want it. Yes, it's iron. Wonderful. It's like a yellow color in stock. This is red because that's what iron or actually, you know, iron oxide actually looks like. But yes, grab your iron if you see it. Cool, and now we'll run upstairs. Right now, you just have to jump from block to block. Eventually, you can make stairs and make it a little neater, but we're not doing this today. So I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to double check, see what it's like outside, it's still dark, yep. So we're going to make ourselves a furnace. Furnace is where you cook food, where you smelt ores down to use them as metal. So it's going to be stone all the way around, that's nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yes. It's ten total, but we only need nine to do a furnace. I'm going to put that in our inventory. And drop that near your crafting table. It doesn't actually matter where. Then you can put wood in to make charcoal. Uh, I do not have enough wood. I'm going to make a quick little expedition outside. This is not recommended for your first day, but I'm going to be try to be careful here. All right. So grab your axe, and we're going to go. I would not try to use your axe on leaves like that. Um, I would probably use your hands. Just because you're going to wear out your um, durability on your tool when you can just use your hands for just about as fast. <clears throat> now I will go and show you, if you cannot find coal, you can do this. You put a log on each spot and it will cook you some charcoal, which is essentially the same thing. It's not ideal, but it works. And you'll notice the um, flame here. This is how much time you have left on whatever the fuel you put in was. This is fuel. This is what you're cooking. So you see you get charcoal. It's the same difference as coal. So you go ahead and stick some coal in here then once you get it though, or charcoal again. Charcoal or coal will work better than a log. Then we will stick our iron ore in, which I'm going to stick this in as well, because, oh, you can't do that both, that's right. And you will smelt out some iron ore, like this, and it'll take a little while, so I'll think of something useful to talk about. All right. You want to actually try to make your farm near water. This is not near water, but I was just throwing it down because I was at the end of the day, I wasn't going to wander out outside. Uh, iron works the same as stone. So right now, we can actually go into here, make ourselves some more sticks. And I would say your first iron tool probably should be a pickaxe. I actually then continue to use stone, and this one's getting low, I'm going to actually make a new stone pick. <coughs> stone tools are great for junk stone. Uh, iron I would save for good stone, like um, the various ores and things like that. Some of them actually need iron, but for junk I wouldn't worry about it. 
um, iron armor. Uh, I mean, leather is less powerful and less strong, but the odds of you finding enough leather early on is actually kind of low. It's kind of funny. You would think you could get leather sooner, but it's a completely up to, you know, luck of the draw what you'll get. So we have uh, five iron ingots. I would not, I don't know if I would worry about iron this, uh, to armor this early. I would say I, when you have only a little bit of iron, iron uh, axes, uh, do not even bother an iron hoe. A stone hoe will do you for good. There's no reason to make an iron hoe because you can always make more stone hoes way too easily. You don't use them that often. Once you've dug your plot, you don't really need it again other than occasionally if something gets trampled. Uh, shovels is up to you. Stone is probably fine though. I would say uh, iron pickaxes. We may be able to make armor. Uh, you can look up the recipes, but this would be boots, which, you know, is up to you. This would be, I just have enough for a helmet. Um, and then there's other recipes, but I don't have enough. I would say this early on, you can make yourself armor. It's a judgment call. Uh, the other actually thing that would be good to do iron early, which we will not then do the other. We will make a iron sword. An iron sword, I would say go for uh, an iron pick, an iron sword. And then um, stone picks, having more than one on you is probably a good idea. It's actually starting to get light. We're not going to go out yet. This is not quite light enough. It, spiders, I think, are your main concern when it's starting to get light. Spiders during the day will actually not attack you. But you can then still go after them, which means you can get a first hit in without coming after you. If it's dark enough, they will still come after you. And um, there are daytime enemies like uh, creepers. Creepers are your main concern during the day. Uh, the undead or your other main enemies, they will burn in the sunlight. Which means if you find, if you run into one in the shade, if you can draw it onto the light, you're fine. I would not, your first day, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with skeletons. Zombies, if you have a s iron sword, I would feel fairly comfortable about that. Cool. So we are actually day. Remember, we have the iron over here, but we are actually going to go out to the water. I'm going to clear out some more wood. Now we have a pick and we have the time to mess with it. Um... I would say your next steps coming from here, because again, like I said, we're not going to go too far, is I would clear out some space wood, and I will show you in a minute, because we do have the, uh, keep in mind, water will wash anything that gets into it away, so you want to make sure you catch things when they fall. This also applies to um, underground. You, what sucks is when you get the, you know, obsidian ore. Actually, that's you want to be careful here, because you can fall down that hole that is bad. I would probably build up a little thing here so you're not going to fall in it by accident because that really sucks early on because you will probably die. And you don't want to die this early, like I said, especially before you have a bed. If you went away from your spawn point, you don't want to fall in a hole like this. This is a bad time to do that. So yeah, something like this is probably enough to probably help you remember. We have a lot of water here. Um... One thing you can do is if you have a lot of water and you need land, this actually makes things a little, I don't know, this may actually be a good way to tell where your house is. Uh, landmarks are going to be a big deal. You want to know where your landmarks are. Um, so if you wanted to keep this here, I would actually consider cutting this flow off for now. The one thing about the water going down like this is you could still use it to get back up. Uh, probably... Um, if you fall down into water like this and there's a waterfall, if you go into the waterfall and hold down the jump, like if you're in water, for instance, you hold down jump to go back up, you swim up. If you're in a waterfall, you can do the same thing. Um, I'm going to start wrapping up because, again, it's morning. But we're going to go ahead and real quick, I would say we'll go ahead and actually build our farm over here. It's a little bit out of our way, but not badly. Sand you cannot build on. Sand can be used to make glass later, but we are not making glass right now because that's, you know, that's when you actually have an established house. So, um, go ahead and stick some dirt in. I would say you actually want to try to have water next to dirt, which means this style of, ah, uh, that's not where I want it. This style of farm is actually pretty good because it gives you the water and the dirt. 
in pretty decent mixture. Now uh, we have a hoe again. We do not, however, have seeds. Seeds are something obviously you need, or unless you find some other vegetable, carrots, um, what else? Carrots, uh, potatoes. Potatoes aren't a vegetable, but it works out the same way. So to get seeds, you want to break grass. You don't always get seeds, but you definitely want to at least try to get some. And actually right now, I would say take this. It's not grown that much yet to worry. Go through, find yourself as many seeds as you can find without going too far afield again. It's a little early to be going too far out. Again, if you're going to wander, make sure you know where you are. Make sure you can get back. We don't have a compass yet. A compass will point back to the original spawn point unless they've changed it and it actually will go to your bed. But at last I checked, it goes to your spawn point. So make sure you know where you are. Once you have a bed, when you die, you'll go back to your bed, which is better. But until you have a bed, you do want to be careful. Try not to take too many risks because you will lose... You'll drop your stuff when you die. From that point... You have 10 minutes from the time you're in low distance of your stuff before it despawns. So if you're away from your uh, loading of that area, um, I don't remember how many bricks it um, blocks it is. But if basically, if you've died nearby your spawn, you need to move. If you died like you know way underground, you have some time. But you have five minutes from the time you died, roughly. We'll just say that until your stuff is gone. So you want to try to get back to your stuff quickly. The quicker you can, the more likely it's there. You can still try to get it back then in that case. Alright, so seeds. I will go ahead and plant this, but like I said, we are day, so I'm pretty much going to fetch... Whoa. Okay, this is a problem. As you can see, the water washed away our seeds. So I would go ahead and build up a block here. Uh, and see, with this water here, this still does uh, apply to all these pieces. I don't know why these are not wet, however, which is weird. But it's not that big a deal. So go ahead, dig everything out. You may not have enough seeds, in which case don't worry about it. You can always, when you get more seeds. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you the growing and harvesting, but when it is sort of a golden color, then you go and just hit it like that, like you would the grass, and it will drop seeds um, and or wheat. And again, three wheat makes um, bread, which is a your decent renewable. Um, if you see animals, I would not, I would always leave at least two of a kind of animal left so you can breed them later. You can use wheat probably depending on what animals you see. So as of now, I would say we are probably set up for our first day. From here, I would explore, I would get wood, I would maybe try to um, figure out what other resources you have locally. You can see I have this map. You do not have this map in stock. That's, an, again, another mod I will make sure I show you. Uh, you can make maps, however, with uh, paper, but we don't have any sugar cane here to make paper out of. And again, that's not your first day. Um, because you also need a compass. In any case, I think we're done here. I'm going to go ahead and run through real quick. The bottom bar, you have your health on the left. It's the hearts. On the right side, you have those things like you meat. That's your hunger bar. Um, it will steadily go down if you're in survival in, uh, I think it's at all survival. Unless you're like in peaceful mode, but that's not survival at that point. Um, it will go down, it will go down faster if you when you run and jump. So if you're low on health, you want to try to walk. If you gets down to two um, hunger left, you cannot run. So again, that's a really good reason to try to keep it up. Um, which is why you want to try to get the bread. This will take a little while. I think it's a couple days real time. I uh, not real time. <laughs> God, game time. My apologies. Um, animals, if you can find them. If there's more than two, or you're really desperate, um, hit them with uh, probably the axe. You could probably use your sword too. But the axe, a stone axe is better, I would say. Because it's, you know, it, it does enough damage and they're easily renewable. Save your iron sword for enemies. And since I don't have any here, and I'm going to finish up in just a moment, if you see anything about your height that's sort of mossy green and is coming towards you on little stubby feet with a frowny face, run. Don't think. Just run. You want to try to leave it as far behind you as possible. And as long as, and make sure you don't see it anymore. The very last thing I'll do is when you cut down trees, the leaves that are left behind 
will, or else if you destroyed them yourself, will leave behind saplings. I would make sure you plant your saplings. Let's not fall down the hole, please. Um, plant saplings. Because if you run out of trees, you'll be sad later. So as a last little thing, I'm actually going to go down this hole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the waterfall and see what happens. This is not necessarily advised. Okay, see, you go down safely. Now, you'll notice the bubbles are your um, air. Uh, this is the sort of thing I would not go down your first day. It is big, it is dark, it is full of bad things. You want to go down with no less than, I would say, a full stack of 64 torches, and you want to place them regularly. You never want to have more than, I would say, half darkness, because if you say, you know, complete darkness and outside midday, you want to have maybe a little darker than that. I mean, you'll experiment. If you hear scary noises like howls and moans, then you need to be putting torches down because you're definitely dark enough. Hopefully we won't run out of air before we get back up, but you see you can swim back up a waterfall because that's how water works. And we're right on the edge of air, but we're okay. Oh, uh. nope, not quite. Close enough. Now, like I said, don't do that your first day. So this has been uh, Cena Cat, and... Take care. No, bye.